Hey there everybody, Milk Knight here, and welcome to the next part of the Keeper's Beat, where uh, we're going to go and see the, uh, was it the salesman of the electronics place now? Yeah, it was, if I remember correctly. Just checking that I've got feedback on the mic, okay, we're good. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next event. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we've got to go see him, of course. Let's get right on to it. <laughs> Ah, no errors in judgment here. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Exact same as yesterday, word for word. So he's not the Jaluzer then? Let's talk to him just to be sure, but try to be discreet about it. Ah, don't worry about it. This guy, we're uh, trying to figure out why the, uh, the electronic delusion scape is like a thing. We are suspecting it's him, but... Hmm? Now he's noticed us. At least have the decency to put your phone on vibrate. <laughs> Who'd be calling me now anyway? Huh? You're gonna Maybe. cringe yourself into sleepy time. Asahi. Are you okay? What's going on? The delusion scape entrance. It's appeared. What? It has? Whatever you two did, it must have worked. Ryu, don't move a muscle. We'll be right there. The entrance? Yeah. Come on, we have to hurry. So the entrance appeared already. Let's make sure there's no Yoshino uh, event. No, we're good. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? A delusion scape. Here, right here. That's an entrance, all right. But why did it appear? Huh? It wasn't you two? Nope. Definitely not. We didn't have a chance to do anything. And Hahabu was repeating the exact same dialogue he said yesterday anyway. Why is this here then? I'm guessing the real deluser has been disturbed in some way. Well, at least we can cross Mr. Electronics off our suspect list. I have a feeling Saki's behind it. Just a hunch, because she's not around. That or maybe the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Maybe. We've been after the wrong man this whole time. I'd say we lucked out, though. I don't think anyone else has gone in there yet. Then we'll be the first. One small step for Neat. Hold it. What is it, Ko? What do you plan on doing in there? Well... It's up to you whether to nullify or preserve it. Choose wisely. I have no idea. What kind of answer is that? The kind of answer that a guy who knows we can't let somebody else go in and destroy it gives. Now come on, everybody. Yeah, I had a feeling we weren't too far off from the entrance of this, pretty much. So, new dungeon for us to explore. <laughs> yeah, she can. Getting all high and mighty on us. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? It's an enemy! Please, ex a four-way surprise attack. Uh, Don't give them an no opening. Like, hot, not so hot. You're out. Sir. That your fighting form is superb. Uh, uh, gotcha. That's nice. Uh, uh, eat this. Run on the rules. But we will prevent. Hot check. Hot check. Only one soul remains. Let us strive to make the end of battle. Not die for us. Kind of digging this uh, dungeon design. Like decayed electronics with like foliage grow growing over them. It's an enemy. Four of them. This is quite the crowd now. Come and get me. Hot job. You like blaze blasts, sir? We found the enemy's weak point. Yeah. Hot job. Mission accomplished. Let us guide the fool to hell. 
I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? Are you planning to return then? This is the door from which we came. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? I whiff way too much. Quite the full house today. This may become no a war of attrition. Hot, a like to Blaze Blossom. Hot, 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 hot whip. God, I feel about Katami just rubs me the wrong way. I've just noticed her fighting stance when she's neutral has the scythe behind her back like she's hiding it. Like, ugh. I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Like she's not holding it like a, how a scythe should be held. She's hiding it behind her back kind of thing. It's kind of irritating. Like she's stealthing on stuff. That's that's what I don't like. It's an enemy. There are four enemies, but the advantage is ours. Sneaky and dishonorable. Like That's how I see it. An enemy has four adversaries to face. Let's clean no house, shall we? I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? No, I've got too many tablets. Then again, it's not like I've used them to revive anybody. Yeah, it's a bad weapon, or like it's a poor weapon. And then you have to hold it poorly too. It's an yeah. enemy. Four it's like she's this is quite the doing now. everything in her uh, power to annoy us. Turn! I mean, look at that. What kind of fighting stance is that? Like, Ryu, Ryu, uh, or Mipidi looks way tougher with her weapon. At least it looks like she's smacking things with it. An enemy has been spotted. Four adversaries to face. Let's clean I'll house, shall we? Hot Blaze Blossom! Turn! You found the enemy! Hot Hot Our will is Hot I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? It's an enemy! Please, exercise caution. Energy jello. Shall we proceed through the door? I will have <laughs> Little turtles look like watermelons, by the way. It's an enemy! Please, exercise caution. Yeah. There are four enemies, but the advantage is ours. No problem. An enemy has been spotted. A four-way surprise attack. <laughs> Don't give them I'll an opening. Not so hot. Turn. Turn. Gotcha. Not that so your Nothing is impossible. It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? By not engaging it. <laughs> oh, Goldol definitely it's engaged. It's an enemy. Though. Please exercise caution. 
can make all this. Only two enemies? This Ooh. should be a quick easy game. We're gonna get quite a lot of EXP. Nicely done. Nothing to it. Somebody let me try this on you. It's an enemy. Please exercise. A surprise attack by four moves. <laughs> Stay calm, nope. I can do this. I'm seriously skilling. It's a door. Shall we open it? Oh, there's like four doors here. I guarantee you the neighboring one is not going to be the way up, surely. It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. Shall we proceed through the door? I will happily lead the way. Let's have a look where it goes. Yeah, it just goes to the other side, okay. I'm gonna say the one on the left here. Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. Shall we proceed through the door? I will happily lead the way. It's an enemy. A four-way surprise. Don't give them an open. You're not so hot. You're like not so hot. 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 It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. This is quite the scuffle. Shall I join the fray? An enemy has been spotted. Quite the full house today. This may become a war of attrition. I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Might as well use a few items. If you're to go through this door, please be certain you're ready. Okay, the big golem things are in here. I've just noticed that every enemy is basically just reskinned. Or re uh colored, I guess you could say. Oh boy, multiple doors. Probably only a few. Well hmm? an enemy draws near. Come let's see where they lead. I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. Shall we proceed through the door? I will have... Yeah, so that leads through there, that way. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's a door. Try shall we open it? Four enemies. Do be sure you don't get surrounded. No hot, not so hot. Sir. That was you you the to the ground. Only two of them are Is that it? Level up! Yay! A plus and a sticker! It's an enemy! Please exercise caution. If you're to go through this door, please be. Hmm? 
Hmm. You like this? Quite the full house today. This may become a war of attrition. Turn! Not so fast! That was hurt! You're like hot! 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 Only one foe remains. Hot! 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 I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Do you reckon? Are we to return the way we came then? Last on the left. It would make. Well, it could possibly be it. You know what? We'll do that. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. I'm gonna laugh if it's, if that's true. An like, enemy has. If you uh, Four guess is like be correct. Sure you don't get surrounded. Nope. Not so fast. Hot. You like hot? Please, please, please. Hot. 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 The other one next to it, then. My bad. We'll go there, then. Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's a door. Shall we open? I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall uh, we look looks for like... it? Nah, looks like another item. Are we to return the way passage. we came, then? So you try the opposite from here, maybe. Maybe, uh, that'll be it. You like this? An enemy has... Oh dear, that's a lot of foes. But at least they haven't seen us yet. Hot! Yes! 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 It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. Never item room. This is quite the scuffle. Shall I join the fray? Hot. You like hot? Turn. You like hot? I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? Swoon God. Are we to return the way we came then? We'll try the end hmm? ones now. An well, four of them. after this it's battle. Quite the crowd, no? Come and get me. You like this? Not so. You like turn. Hot. We are going to the mission. Herdmaster Asahi. Nicely done. Hot. Got to rest. And sober. Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. If you're to go through this door, please be... Okay, this might be the, uh, the Eryx save, save spot there. So it was at the end. It would have been funny hmm? if it was in the middle, An like you said. An enemy draws near. Yeah. Command. Three foes, is it? Let's show them... It's not very time. obvious in that hot, sense. Like hot, yeah. hot. Check this out! Master Asahi, you a strive to make the end of battle. It's an enemy. We face a great many foes, but we can win Don't Yeah, not make it too obvious. 
I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? No, because it's on the other side of the map. An enemy has been spotted. A four-way surprise attack. <laughs> Don't give them I'll an opening. You away. That would be fun. Well, by the way, things are going. Yamada's going to drop first. Don't. This dungeon is quite tough. Is that it? That or the AI is just being too stupid right now. You're all looking a bit cracky. Perhaps a new It's over. No chance still stands. Let us guide the whole town. As it should be. This shop sells all kinds of odds and ends. Shall we? Look, we got life cans after like fighting a few things. That's kind of funny. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving up? Yes, we will actually. Because I guarantee you, the the boss fight for this area is going to probably come up. Maybe a treasure chest nearby. It's a door. Oh, maybe not. Oh, actually, maybe. There's an event right there, so... Yeah, there's the boss. It looks like a spinning drone or something, I don't, I don't know. Actually, it looks a little bit like the thing from Fallout with the, uh... Oh, what's it called? It does all the jobs around the house and stuff. Reminds me of that, kind of. Lights are on, but nobody's home. Well, aside from the Grand Phantasm, who seems very much okay. Then we made it in time. So what now? Do we just lie here and wait until the Freedom Fighters show up? That's right. We're not going to let them destroy this delusion. We have to stop them at all costs. Not a problem. Should they dare to get within 10,000 meters of this place, I'll tear them all limb from limb! System error! System error! This Mother Brian? Talk? System error! System error! Yamato, look out! Yeah. Yeah. Metroid the reference. has started to go bonkers on us! System error! System error! <gasps> go! System error! System error! Whoever did the voice acting from of a brain deserves a raise. Yeah! No, Pink Coon! <laughs> System error! System error! <laughs> that was worth it. Oh, just seeing Pink Coon go flying like that was brilliant. Asahi, this is bad. We won't last if we stay in here much longer. But we have to. <laughs> Nippity! <laughs> <laughs> System error. System error. Well, everyone's getting boarded so far. If I destroy this thing, then the delusion goes with it. Hey, what do we do? Yamato, you're all right? Considering the circumstances, I don't think anyone's going to blame you. But... Yeah, how about for you on this one? We're all out of options, so hurry up and do something! I believe in you, Asahi. Besides, if this keeps up, we're all toast! Are we fighting this thing on our own? Hey, Asahi. <laughs> yeah? What is it? Is it wrong to destroy people's delusions? Huh? If we don't do it... Yeah, yeah, changes her, changes her mind because her back's against the wall. Hilarious. Oh... We have to protect the delusions, but this one's going out of out of sorts. Quick, kill it, kill it! <laughs> That's soon changed. All right, everyone. As your acting leader, here are my orders. Retaliate. A bow? This should be quick. Come and get me. Get, get. Ember's edge. Now for my true form. The enemy's weak. Hot, hot, hot. Here we go. We can chase this. Watch, watch this. <laughs> can literally just chain like this. Hot, 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 hot,
That's really, really, really uh, ironic that Kotami is the only one who can really damage this boss. And true, that's kind of like setting off an alarm and expecting no consequences. Like what? That hurt, you know. It's over. Can I change her tactic to that? Uh No, focus scatter. Targets and attacking an ally with low health. That's not it. See, this is the problem with tactics in some RPGs. Okay, only try and heal teammates in battle. Uh Oh, she can use it. You can program them to have auto use. That's kind of cool, actually. I never bothered looking at a tactics skill until now. Right, we can make her just heal then. There we go. She's. Can you imagine? Come, let us begin. Healing, and she's not using it. Oh, because her SP is low, that's why. I need to go back and give her some SP curative. Hold on. That's why. She's got no SP. I no. And I just gave it to Katomi. God damn it. No to hide. I'm so bad at giving items. Uh, there you go. Hopefully that'll be enough for a bit. Run him through! Yeah. Injured. No, no, let's heal you up right now. Run him through! Help. Master Asahi, we found the enemy's weak point. It's over! Hot. Hope you can swim! Found the enemy's uh, weak point with like hitting hot, it in the G-spot. Run him through! Yeah. Run him through! Go to hell! You don't. Huh? Die, please. Thank you. Okay, that one. Like Run him through! Run him through! Gotcha! Oh, oh. Ember 
Imagine giving anything to Katara. Oh, there's, there's a couple of things I'd like to give Katara. But nothing nice, that's for, that's for sure. Triple Fistle, Triple Fistle, Triple Fistle. It's over! I'm just chaining in the air like this. During, uh, during imagine you you don't do that. Hell? Hell? I still got yeah. more in me. <laughs> Just die already, please. There we go. Jeez, that thing, that thing was tough. Tough as in, just had a lot of health, I guess. And it did put a bit of a beating on it. I mean, I ended up having to use items at some point, so. I mean, 8,000 experience, though. And the money drop's quite good, too, so. You know, it not sucks. You can't farm bosses when you're done with them. Nothing is impossible. I feel like if you could do that, it'd make the game a bit more fun in that sense. Then again, it'd make it way too easy. Nothing to it. Now I can destroy them. Because you could just go back to every boss and just farm money that way. Unless they did like a percentage thing where it would take off like 10% when you refarm, but then like the percentage gets higher. So refarming doesn't become as valuable in that sense, if you know what I mean. Like you'd increase it in increments of like 10. And then you put it up to like a 25% drop, 50% drop to the like 100% deduction. Now I can do to the point better. where it's completely pointless of uh, farming them. My true strength unlocked. I'm seriously skilling. Man, he leveled up twice. Lucky boy. The grand so whose delusion is this? Disappearing. And so will the delusion. We didn't have any other choice. Don't feel bad, you guys. You were only following my orders. This is entirely on me. Okay, remember that. It's entirely on our main character here. We were just following orders. Asahi. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what my poor life choices have done to the world outside. Why, boy? Battle song sung by Yuko Ka Kawa I can't pronounce that. Kawa Kawanashi? Kawanishi? There's an SOS. Do it. SOS. They've also got a TV version of it. It's all back to the way it should be. Yeah. Every last trace of the delusion is gone. It's been totally nullified. <sighs> oh dear. Y'all did good. Who the... I was gonna knock you flat on your asses, but I figure I won't. To thank you for taking care of the delusion. Freedom fighters! Still... Can't say I expected that you guys would get here and take out the big nasty before we even had the chance. First of all, don't pin this on them. Nullifying the delusion was my call. Mine and mine alone. <laughs> Why the hell are you here anyway? Seems like someone's a few pages back in their class reading. To destroy the delusion, doi. But you beat us to it. We came as soon as we realized the entrance had appeared. Who was the real deluser this time? The source of the delusion? The Bonnie to my Clyde figured it out in no time. 
Crazy enough, turned out to be the president of a big old appliance manufacturer. Real successful one, too. Ain't human greed something? No matter how well off somebody might be, they always want more, more, more. We rushed straight over here once we gave him a little shakedown, but he beat us to the punch. So that's why the door appeared. The Deluser wasn't Hahabu then. An ambulance. Well now, it seems your ride is here. How nice of you to make preparations in advance. <laughs> what are you yapping on about? Okay, that's kind of ruthless. Did you hear? There was a jumper on Showa Street. Seriously? Like a suicide attempt? Come on, get with it. It's all over Quipper. A jumper? Oh no. Quipper. You don't think. Everyone take a look at this. Man jumps onto roadway at Show Street. Appears to be around 50 years old. What? I have this bad feeling. It's him. It's Hahabu. No. No, it can't be. It sounds like he got hit by a truck. A big one. I know I shouldn't be laughing, it's pretty bad of me. But like, I don't mean to sound really mean, but we didn't really get to know him very much. We only knew him for like a few minutes. All because I... Real sad, but... It don't matter now. It's my fault so long, the protagonist, the yeah. Be. <laughs> because of him, this guy died. Yeah, we much. looked into the guy. Hajime Hahabu. Prez of Hahabu Electronics. Poor guy's business was failing, he was near bankrupt, and his wife and kid had left him. Already on the brink. Then the electronics delusion whooshed on in, and all of a sudden his fortune turned around, back in high spirits. But now that the delusion's gone... Yep, yeah, all that's out the window. And so's he. With the delusion destroyed, the electronics boom that saved him never happened. <laughs> the truck got to know him better than we did. That's fucking brutal. It's true, though. That's the biggest irony, is that it's, that it's sadly true. We didn't really get to see him that much or speak to him much. It was like a couple of minutes at best. He might as well just had a giant neon sign next to him saying, I'm gonna die soon. Like, ugh. So his life went back to the way it was beforehand. Which led to, well, this, I guess. That's terrible, though. It's the way things were meant to be. That other life of his wasn't real. He was just playing make-believe. You have no right to say that. Why? Because I'll hurt his dead feelings? Because I'll hurt yours? <laughs> Don't matter none. We're still gonna do what we do. It's for Akihabara. It's all for Akihabara. This suddenly got dark. <laughs> really dark. <laughs> to the to the point where it's almost comical, really, but... So because of us... Not us. Me. I'm the one who ordered you all to fight the Grand Phantasm. Well, it was all on your shoulders, Asahi. You're the one that made the uh, decision. That's right, Asahi. It's all your fault the delusion has been destroyed. No, broke businessman on the brink, brink of his business. How will we ever sleep at night? We only knew him for like 10 minutes. You destroyed it, and in doing so, you completely changed the course of someone's life. A delusion was spawned by somebody successful. But delusions don't discriminate. And this one here saved the life of somebody who wasn't successful. Fortunate and unfortunate alike are affected by these fantasies. That's the way delusion is. They save some folks, make other folks shine. But we keep on fighting them. Why, you ask? <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? We're the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. That's the whole reason we exist. The yeah, bastardization of what the uh, freedom fighters were. God damn it, I've left on notifications. Let me turn that off. You know why uh, uh, notifs are turned on? Because I was doing something earlier on DMC1. And I needed the notification picture to pop up when I was doing the image capturing. 
All right, we're going to save naturally. Black Box City right about now. Taking stock. Hopefully this is a more uplifting chapter this time. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all downhill from here. Surely. Tragedy struck this evening as a local man leaped onto Highway 4 in Chiyoda Ward. He's going to pine on. He's going to pine on about this for the rest of the chapter now, isn't he? Leave me alone. Yeah, I think we're in the self pitying phase now of the game. Where he's gonna spend the entire chapter being down in the dumps. I said leave me alone, god damn it! It Just is, isn't it? Leave me be. It is. Do you know what the, the, the advantage of the other two Akiba games was? That they were pretty short. Like you could beat them pretty quick. Depending on what ending you shoot for, or if you go for all endings like I did, it could be quite lengthy. This game just feels like all of them put together in a sense, but less fun in that regard, I guess. It has its moments here and there, and then you've got, well, this. Tragedy struck this evening as a local man leaped onto Highway 4 in Chiyoda Ward. Oh Ward, god, he's he actually just going to keep hearing this. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. That or they put zombies in it. Zombies would be fun. Because, you know, the zombie stereotype has not been overly done. <laughs> you know. Tachibana! If you're in there, say something! <laughs> Tachibana! Hey! Stop, Yamato. Let's just say something. God, just stop already. Does this sound really, really cliche, but, like, why do I get the feeling that Saki's gonna be the one to get him out of this funk? Because it would make sense if I had to, like, suddenly come back out of nowhere right about now. In fact, you know something? The game has kind of suffered since Saki's gone away. I've noticed that. Just leave me alone, damn it. And and, and like I'm not I'm not Saki's like number one fan, but like she was at least kind of fun, I, I suppose. Saki will come back. She will. She's got to. You destroyed it. And in doing so, you've completely changed the course of someone's life. Coming back as a villain, oh god, that'd be terrible. I hope not. I hope she comes back as a as a heroine in shining armor to help us out. That'd be great. I mean come I mean, we already have Mizuki who's like, you know, gone on to the other side now at this point. I couldn't protect it. I couldn't protect him. Yes, the man that we only knew for ten minutes. I wouldn't. I but I'd still be happy to be a sub leader or something. Huh? Like I said, we need to create a place for Saki to return home to. Oh, we sure do. Because she's our leader. Always has been, always will be. No question. But in times like this, when she's absent, I'll take over her duties as the team's sub leader. Deal? Okay. I think I like that. A lot. Then I'm not gonna let you guys down. Well, at least until Saki's back. Then I can be a disappointment again. You're getting a little too excited. We should all get a little too excited. Now I'm even more excited to keep on working with you guys. Ah, oh, these nostalgic flashbacks. Some leader I am. Oh, shut up! I'm all talk. 
When the chips are down, I can't protect anyone or anything. And it's all because I'm half-assing this. I don't think I ever learned how to be a full ass. So I'm done. I'm through. I'm gonna go back to living my life the way it was before any of this crap began. Hooray! Anime, ramen, and sleeping in late. Seems good to me. The unfettered, undemanding <laughs> roll, life. Of roll, roll the credits. The Enjoying credits just the roll. heck out of this eternal Sunday until the end of time. Having a life wasn't working out for me anyway. Go away! Huh? Go right ahead. Just open it. Is this really all right, though? I certainly don't mind. Mind? Mind, damn it! I can escape through the veranda. They're trying to saw their way through. It's either a drill or a saw. One of the two. I really don't want to see anybody right now. I need to get as far away as I can. Nobody's gonna miss me anyway. Oh my god, there's so much fucking... Oh, there's so much fucking sad boy right now. It's, it's, it's literally making me cringe. Oh, they could have at least put an animation where he's like walking slowly with his head down. You know, like that, that you know, like those moments in video games where you, where you slow down and... You're forced to walk through painfully awkward segments like this. Oh, here we go, cat girl. She'll cheer us up, surely. You! Yes, you, Meowster! Let me take guide you to your destiny! Meow! Sorry, but I'm not in the mood. That is tough. Not in the mood? But why? Just... stuff. Well, if you're feeling perplexed, come on into Nyan Dream and, and relax. In honor of its grand opening, drinks are only 222 yen. It's a me outrageous bargain. <laughs> that would There's be quite the twist. There's no way it wouldn't turn your kitty cat brown right upside down. Grand opening, huh? Uh, Mike. Is there a problem Yeah, with but there's, that? A, there's an accent on the E. It's Mike. <laughs> what was I even doing back then? Back when I first realized today was on loop and started Oh shit, oh shit. Out. If that is literally Mike, does that make this char this character like this game's like Felix Argyle then, in that sense? Yeah. That'd be quite the, uh... That'd be quite fun. Oh, we're getting no fun with Cat Lady by the looks of it. Or Cat Trap, or Cat Boy, or Cat Lady in that sense. Right, who's next? What's the next event we're getting? Are we gonna reflect on the time we went in there? That's right. I came here. Then Saki found me. But now even Saki's gone. Hey! Oh, huh? okay. Sorry to bug you out of nowhere. The dude from the But would the you mind if part? I asked you something a little weird? Me? Yeah, you. Have we ever met before? Yeah, I don't think so. You must be mistaking me for someone else. I get that a lot. Am I? Real sorry about that. I just had the weirdest sense of deja vu lately, and I just can't seem to shake it. I just get these vague memories in my head every now and then. Just for a split second, then poof, they're gone. It's because I destroyed it. Hmm? You just got this sour look on your face. Are you doing okay? That's a big question. I mean, don't you worry about me. I'm not in distress or nothing. Just a little deja vu. Thought I recognized you. To be honest, seeing you has actually lifted my spirits a bit. No idea why, but it did. What, Asahi uh, turning, turning a villain? That would be kind of cool. Or maybe he just gives in to his sadness and becomes the ultimate emo cringe lord. And yeah, we have to beat him up as Saki, huh? that'd be quite It's fun. real weird. Up until recently, just seeing a young person like you would irritate me. 
Every kid's face I saw made me realize how much Akihabara has changed. And that's always made me bitter. My Akihabara's an audio town. We didn't have all this anime and idol nonsense that you youngsters are into. So I was never great at interacting with young people. Especially with them walking around like they own the place. They got me so heated that for a while, I kind of deluded myself into thinking Akiba could go back to how it was. But that isn't me anymore. Now, I feel a lot more at peace. As you know who said, the times, they are a change in. The next generation will make their own new era. I only just realized that. Somewhere along the line, I turned into a real curmudgeon. I'm hoping that's all fixed now. You know something? I hope they do make another Akiba game where we can have a look at the TikTok generation. Did you say... fixed? <laughs> look at me rambling on to some strange kid. Sorry about that. Oh no, not at all. Although, knowing this game would have to have a different name, like Click Clock or something like that, because of, well, licensing. Thanks for humoring a pathetic old man and letting him yammer on like this. But from here on out, I'm cheering you youngsters on. Akihabara was built on youth and spark. Do her proud. Make it an even greater town than it already is. One everyone can love. Anyway, I'll see you around, kiddo. Wait, did I do that too? Are we actually going to see some silver linings from the stuff we've done then? Tic Tac, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tic Tacs are nice, man. I like the cherry ones. The cherry ones are quite nice. There's also cola flavor. God damn, I'm talking about Tic Tacs. Now. Right here's where Mippity's delusion took over. Oh Lord. yeah. Isn't that? Mm. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's lenses. It's not right. Yeah, that's gotta be him. Nobody's selling Mippity Mop goods. Not a soul. <laughs> Watch where you're going, goggles. S sorry. I'll live. Wait. Fisherman's friends. Huh? I've never had what? them. I've heard they're good though. I know you. You're. Been a while, huh? Uh, hello. How's it hanging? Uh, um. Hmm. What is it? Did something happen? Huh? You just look so sad. I'm not the sad one here. W what do you mean? Well, you know, aren't you sad, Megane? Now that Mippity's event is over. I mean. You have realized her event was all fake by now, right? Fake, huh? To me, it was as real as real can be. And I had so much fun attending it. Never seen somebody say so much fun with such a sad look in their eye. I'd be lying if I claimed I wasn't sad. But Peppermint I'm on glad steroids. things worked out the way they did. But why? Well, b because Mippity was saved. She was able to go back to being the real Ryu Mimose. And I want to see her build herself back up. I want to watch her grow as a performer and become just as big again. Even though I know, I know eventually, she'll leave Akihabara behind. Where will she call home? Zap Tokyo? The Japan Wushu Stadium? Maybe the Saitama Hyper Arena? I just want to see her sparkle on the big stage. Really sparkle. You know? You really love her, don't you? I do. But I worry. I want her to spread her wings and fly, but I know when she does, she'll fly far away. But still, but still, but still, I think that might be what's the best for her. I think I want that for her. I want her to climb those stairs one by one, the stairs of her own Cinderella story, one step at a time, at the pace she's most comfortable with. And I'll be rooting for her every step she takes. 
Which is why I'm glad things turned out this way. For my sake, but more importantly, for Nippity's. Interesting way to look at it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm still on the hunt for B Nippity merch. If we meet again on the old dusty trail, let's take a moment to lock eyes and catch up on old times. Godspeed. Could it have been a good thing that we destroyed her delusion then? So yeah, it's one of those things where the positives have outweighed the negative, kind of, then, I guess. At least that's the way it's shaping up right now. So I suppose during a zombie apocalypse, go to Tokyo then. Confirmed. Oh, Moe, no. This is right around where Cannon first showed up, isn't it? The infamous pink-caped urban legend himself. How much time did we lose chasing after him? We lost Moe's maid delusion, too. My word, if it isn't Master Asahi. Hey, Nana. What's the matter? You have such a despondent look on your face. It's unlike you, Master Asahi. Tell me, is something wrong? Has something unpleasant happened to you? Unpleasant's one way to put it. Tell me what happened. It's not important. Well, I know that when I can't bring myself to smile, I move my body. It's the best medicine there is. If you've got the energy to move, maybe. If I were you, I'd run across the whole of Akihabara. I'm sure you'd discover lots of great things that way. All sorts of shops and people. Akihabara really is a town full of excitement and wonder. That's why I love it so much. The people who live here, too. They all give me energy and lift my spirits. This whole town is like a dream. Like someone's delusion of a utopia. Sorry, did you say delusion? That's right. This weird hodgepodge of a town isn't like anything you'd find anywhere else in the world. It's like someone dreamed up a modern-day utopia, and that dream became real. Oh, that's what you meant. Anyway, Master Asahi, I'm sorry to cut our talk short, but I have to get back to the cafe. I hope you cheer up, though. Such a sullen look hardly becomes you, Master. You know, I love this crazy hodgepodge of a town, too. It's not real, it's a giant delusion. Oh my god, imagine if that was the case. That'd be like the ultimate middle finger. It'd be that whole... And then the, the protagonist woke up and it was all a dream. I was so salty at the end of Mario 2 when I beat it to find out it was just Mario sleeping. Oh yeah, Link's Awakening as well, yeah, true. I've got to play that at some point. The reason I've not played it is because I don't remember it very well, to be honest. I will consider playing it at some point, though. I do want to play Four Swords as well, eventually. This is near where Yamato tried to hide his otaku nature from us. Because you can actually play it in single player. You just control all four links in, like, a, a formation thing. Some of the puzzles are changed How for single player as well. Beyond the blackest black, the dawn shall glimmer, heralding the start of a new age. Who was this guy, by the way? We never got to really know much about him. The light shall warm countless scars. A sign was not all in vain. 
Ends are beginnings, yet beginnings too shall be ends. Though light and dark may intertwine, only one may wrap the earth. That would actually be such an ironic ending that I'd actually end up liking it, probably. May a warm light envelop thee on thy journey. Of all the times to need Yamato, yeah, I got none of that. Yeah, we never understood who that dude was, did we? He was just kind of chilling in that delusion. And he just chills here, it seems. Radio Lakaikon was Open the same battle ever. Axe. The situation with wouldn't. Ko was the hardest of all. And in the end, even though I promised... That's why I'm convinced that a guy is like part of the delusion or something. It would make sense. That or he's some sort of cosplayer that happens to be friends with Yamato, maybe? I'm not too sure. I couldn't protect her delusion. Master Asahi. Oh, it's Yoshino. Uh, Yoshino! Please, wait. You may run if you wish, but please hear me out before you do. I wanted to thank you for including my mistress in your activities. She's been a Twitter with stories about you and your friends since this whole adventure began. In truth, I may even be a bit thankful that her delusion was nullified, as it's opened so many doors for her. Though I'll never let the mistress hear me say that. But That's that place was so important to her. And now she's found a place of equal importance, hasn't she? Uh, now then, I'll let you continue your running unperturbed. I must get back to the mistress anyway. We're to await your return together. God, what is it already? Are delusions helpful? Are they harmful? What are they? I don't know, I was kind of hoping that, Yosh that Yoshino would uh, help us upgrade our PPs for a minute. This is, this is the self-pitying chapter, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> I like how the uh, event's just called Renthar, by the way. If only this delusion hadn't been shattered. If only I hadn't destroyed it, then that man would still be. Wow, someone's looking regretful today. Oh, it's uh, Hello again. Don't the girl me. that looks suspicious to like music. You stalled here to deal with it all on your own, right? I'm convinced she's well, related to him. You're just like Akihabara itself. You've lost me. Think about it. It's refusing to acknowledge that there's a tomorrow, refusing to move forward, stuck in place. Sounds an awful lot like what you're doing right now, doesn't it? Huh. But the difference is, you can move forward, Asahi. You have the power to change things. I don't have any power. Oh, sure you do. If you act fast, you'll still make it in time. In time for what? Maybe you aren't so much like this town after all. You've been walking through it, but it's been standing still. Hey, that would be the ultimate plot twist right there. That it's Mizuki, uh... Like playing two roles, that'd be kind of cool. Bit, bit Alfred Ashford and Alexa, Alexia Ashford from uh, Code Veronica. Which means you can save anyone who's been caught up in that stillness. Do you mean? <laughs> Took you long enough. You're right. That's right. If this day is repeating, then technically I can still save him. There's a good boy. Thank you so much. Farewell, Asahi. Good luck. You can still make it, Asahi. I know you can save him. I know you've got it in you. You saved another him back in the day, after all. You went up to him when he was all alone, and showed him the path that was laid out before him. Sis, I made a friend today. It's his sister. Okay. 
scratch the whole uh, visa key uh, cross dressing thing. You were there for him, Asahi, and being there enabled him to move ahead with his life. Question is, is she his younger sister or older sister? Maybe they're twins, who knows? I mean, they look all awful alike, so chances are they're probably twins. Well, actually, no, because the trope of the, of the twins is already done with the Akihabara Freedom Fighters sisters. I'm going to say maybe she's older. How many sub-events do we have? Just the one. Yeah, we do. Just the one event. We'll head over there now and see what it is. I'm going to say no, 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 for some reason. Yes, definitely. Shariko Ube. Shariko. Ring a bell, to be honest. Oh, it's the yeah, the item girl. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't remember. You look much. like you've got some time on your hands. What? It's you. Help me stock up. Um, that sounds kind of like a demand. Where's my accept decline prompt? I wrote down where you need to go. Um, okay. Do I just show them this note or something? It'll be fine. I'm Shariko Ube's loyal servant. I've come for the goods. That's what you'll tell him. The heck? Thanks, Bunches. I'll be waiting in the usual place. Hey! Fine, then. Guess I'll just head over to Mongoku Electronics on the side streets and see what I can dig up. Side street time. Meta joke. I mean, I, I wasn't even thinking for a minute that we'd end up having an event tied to the item seller or the item merchant. She kind of... No wonder I barely remember. She had, like, sh what? Two scenes, I think? And she just appears in dungeons. That's it, really. I mean... Now she's got a bit of an opportunity to be fleshed out more, I guess. Excuse me. Uh, welcome! What can I do for you? I'm, uh, here on an errand for Shariko Ube. Ah, you must be her loyal servant. You're the youngest yet. How tragic. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. This should be everything. Uh, what is this? It looks like something you'd put in an attaché case. Please do handle it with care. This feels excessively shady. Don't worry, you'll understand soon enough. What the hell is she making me lug around? Am I going to be on watch lists now? I'm in this deep, so I might as well see where the rabbit hole leads. Next up is the Sukumo PC shop. right in front of us. <laughs> Just dawned on there. Hey, welcome. What can I help you find today? Actually, I'm here on an errand for Shariko Ube. <laughs> Mistress Shariko? M -m Mistress? Ah, you must be her servant. Here, you should uh, take this. What the? Is this made of Polonia wood? At long last, I'm free of my burden. Are you okay? You seem kind of terrified. 
No, I'm fine. But I really must be going now. Thanks for shopping. Uh, I don't even remember what store this is. Oh, this is getting sketchier by the minute. Just one stop left, though, fortunately. But it's... A back alley near the station's electric town exit? Come on now, that's a little too on the nose. Sus. Or not so sus in this case. Take the passphrase. Hmm? Is this guy Shariko's contact? Passphrase. Uh, Desert Rose. Wait, no. Uh... Hurry it up. Do I have to? Uh... I'm Shariko Ube's loyal servant. I've come for the goods. That is... correct. That is also humiliating. This is for you. A money envelope now? You've gotta be kidding me. Give my kindest regards to Mistress Shariko, and do exercise the utmost discretion and care with that envelope. What the hell? Just glad it's all over now. Time to get everything back to Shariko before somebody puts a hit out on me or something. I'm back, and I've got everything you asked for, for better or worse. Good, good. Well done. So, dare I ask what all of this is for? You really want to know? I don't know. Do I really want to know? If you want to know, then you gotta pay. Let's see, 50,000 yen ought to do ya. What? Why would anyone pay that kind of money in this situation? You drive a hard bargain. 10,000 yen. I have no money to speak of. None! Ugh, guess that's fine. Today only, this one's gratis. You just really want to tell me, don't you? Yep. Presenting my secret project. Drumroll, please. Brrrr. Holy! So, that's about the size of it. Anyways, I gotta be getting back to work now. But I hope I can count on you again next time I need supplies. Fairy dust that makes you happy? God, am I culpable for this? Was I an <laughs> accessory? I don't want to go to jail! Lee's key sister just chilling. It's over. It's all over. My wife and daughter certainly aren't coming home anytime soon. 
There's nothing left for me anymore. Hey, hey sir. sir. Who... who are you? You don't want to do anything rash, please. What? I know things seem as bad as they can get right now, but I'm sure they'll get better if you just give them a chance. What do you know? You're just a kid. I don't know a whole lot. I really don't. But I do know that you have to keep on living. Okay. Say I do. Are you gonna take on all my debts? Well... That's what I thought. I'm just a waste of space and money. Nothing left to do but die. But you can't die. Please don't do this. I'm begging you. I just wish I could have seen my wife and daughter one last time. I don't even know where they are. Keiko Hahabu, age 46. Works as a grocery store clerk. Huh? Sayaka Hahabu, age 17. 11th grader in high school and a member of the tea ceremony club. Yamato, Mippity! And right now you can find them both at the Grand Palace Hotel in Ochanomizu. Really? If you truly wish to see them so badly, you now have the information you need to do so. Keiko, Sayaka, wait for me. I'm coming to see you both right now. What are you all doing here? <laughs> We're here to put things right. He'll see his family and his thoughts of suicide will fade away. Was hell tracking him down though. But still, but still, it was also super duper fun. Like we were detectives or something. You're paying the hotel fees, though. I mean, not like it was that hard, really. I mean, Sunday resets, so they're basically safe scumming, <laughs> in a sense, I guess. Oh, and don't worry about the next loop. From tomorrow on, I intend to email him the location of his wife and daughter. I don't care if I have to change my routine. It's still much too disturbing to have that play out each time around. It never even dawned on me. You guys Copy were all out there fighting for this man's life while I was just trying to run away from reality. Honestly, that's all I was doing, too. Yeah, same here, I guess. Not me. Asahi, you can't keep blaming yourself for this. Come now, back to my place. We'll celebrate our prodigal Asahi's return to the fold. True, they could've. Return? The return of our acting leader. Your treat, Tachibana. I mean, it's not like he's going to be around long to figure it out, because by the time it happens, Sunday probably reset, resets anyway. From now on, you're forbidden from distancing yourself from us by any more than 50 meters. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's all right. I understand. Me too. No big. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing that. So, shall we be off then? Let's go. Oh! What is it? Sorry, but you all go ahead. I'll meet you there. I just... have somebody I need to thank first. Hey! Tachibana! <laughs> Arasahi's clearly back to his old self. And feisty as ever, too. Hopefully things will lighten up a bit more now. It's been a pretty heavy episode so hey, far. Now you're looking happier. Um, uh, I wanted to thank you. Oh, so things went smoothly then? Sure did. Your advice was spot on. Thank you so much. Impressive. But you're the lifesaver. I'm glad I waited for you. Uh, hold up. Why were you waiting for me? Well, maybe not waiting specifically. It's more like I was sitting here, wondering how things had turned out. But every time I had any doubt, I thought to myself, this is Asahi we're talking about. He'll do fine. I know I didn't tell you I'd be waiting for you here or anything, but let's just say I'm glad you're here to see me. Oh, uh, well, it only seemed polite. I believe I told you before that if today just keeps repeating, we'll never be able to make a promise for tomorrow. And that would suck. A promise for tomorrow. Well, that was quick. Two o'clock by the Foss map on Main Street. 
Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. I'm not your mother, he says. What am I, a grade schooler the night before a field trip or something? Come on. That's right. This is exactly where I said I'd meet Misaki. If only I'd actually kept my word and shown up when I was supposed to. Something wrong? Oh, sorry. My mind was just elsewhere for a second. You look straight up haunted. Although, if you ask me, I'd say you're still a little young for that. I don't know if I'm haunted, really. Just... Well, whatever it is, just spit it out. I'm happy to lend an ear to your grievances. Consider it a bonus, thank you. <clears throat> Come now, youngster! Throw whatever you've got at me! These old bones can take it and stay standing! I, uh, don't think that's a... Hmm? What, have you been fighting with a friend, perhaps? Huh? How did you know? <laughs> a woman has her ways. That's not an answer to my question. <laughs> so, what is it you're fighting about? Honestly, I don't even know. Makes sense. You're the kind of guy who wouldn't even know when he didn't know something. I don't even know where to begin with that. It's just a joke. Or is it? Who knows? One can never truly know what's in another's heart. Well, you're a shining example of that. <laughs> so, you might as well that. just throw your hands up in defeat. Aren't you supposed to be helping me? Sorry, sorry. It is important to try to understand what the other person is feeling, sure. Even if you don't feel it yourself. But that alone won't get you anywhere. So, what can I do? You need to look inside yourself. And make sure you've come to grips with your own feelings as well. Do I not already have a grip on those? I'm talking about the feelings you hold deep within yourself. And that can get pretty scary. You'll have to come face to face with parts of yourself you might not like. Hateful parts, or embarrassing parts. Strip your partner bare, and strip yourself bare as well. Just let it all hang out. What the? <laughs> Having dirty thoughts already, are you? Interesting. No, I didn't. And this is a dude we're talking about anyway. Well, if it's two guys fighting, that's simple then. You just get all naked. Again with the nakedness? You get all naked, and then you duke it out. Duke it out until you can both see eye to eye. Oh, a sword fight. Wink, wink. Duke it out? Not try to make up? That's right. Fight till you're all fought out. If you make up with one another before you're on the same page, then you haven't really made up at all. You two just have to take it all <laughs> off and smash against each other until you're totally simpatico. And once you're seeing things from each other's perspectives, you'll be friends to the end, guaranteed. Then you can meet up on the riverbank in the glow of dusk and be all like, Want to dance, punk? No, do you? <laughs> what the heck? Boys have it made. You just fist fight a little, then plop down on the grass and talk about what girls you like. <laughs> I think you put a little too much thought into this, but thanks. I actually kind of get what you're saying. So, I was able to help you out a little? In a weird way, yeah. You were. Then my work here is done. I'd say it's about time I head home and get wasted. Don't drink too much now. Oh, I will. See you around, Asahi. I will, like I can, but cheers. I think I'll do just as she suggested and try smashing myself right into him. Smash Bros. Oh, we'll go to Violet Eden. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Cre creepy camera, dude. Where's Violet Eden again? I always forget where it's at. That's it, this side, I think? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, never mind. I always think it's on the other side for some reason, I don't know why. Sorry to be tardy to the party. Tardy is right. Ugh, waiting for someone has never been so exhausting. Welcome back. You're late, Dingus. Sorry about that, Pinkoon. Sorry doesn't cut the mustard here. 
Well, now that we've reunited, what do you all say to a toast? Before that, there's something I'd like to know if you know. Akemi, do you have any idea what the Freedom Fighters have been doing for the last two days? Well, this line of questioning was unexpected. Two more delusions have cropped up, but they've gone and destroyed them both. I'm sorry. We tried to stop them, but we couldn't. <laughs> Probably because our fearless leader was cowering in his apartment the whole time. I'll cop to that. It's true. This is all my fault. I haven't taken the Freedom Fighters nearly seriously enough, and that's why we haven't been able to stop them. Do you intend on stopping them now, then? Or will you continue nullifying delusions? I don't know. Huh? I said I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is here. While I was gone, I was thinking long and hard about delusions. Are they worthy of our protection? Or should we seek their destruction? <laughs> and? And that's just it. I don't know. Come on. You were supposed to come back to us a changed man. Get it together. I'm serious. I really don't. Some people have been saved by the encroachment of delusions, and others have been saved by their nullification, which led me to a conclusion. Okay, so what's the damn conclusion? The conclusion is I don't have a gosh dang clue. But there's one burning question that I can't get out of my head. What is the proper course for Akihabara? And is it really so wrong to glean happiness from a delusion? That's two questions. Either way, I've decided the only proper course of action is to fight the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. Their methodology is flawed. With it, they can't possibly save everyone there is to save. People will be left behind. So I'm going to put everything I've got into stopping them. I don't know about all this. Don't you start. But if you're planning to exterminate the Freedom Fighters, count me in. Saki being part of the Freedom Fighters or leading them. That'd be a twist I wouldn't expect. It could work, though. Considering she's all high and mighty. Me too. Just because I think you're right, Asahi, and I want to save people. Ko? Mibini? I appreciate the support, but I don't want anyone to join me unless they're sure. I'm just Yeah, she my does. Mind. Ah, whatever. You need somebody to back you up anyway. One lonely neat wouldn't last five minutes against those guys. He's got a point. And since you are a neat, you should just do the neat thing and be too lazy to stop us joining you. If by some miracle you ever do land a job, though, I hope you'll set aside some money for non-otaku purchases. Huh? Come on, you guys. I bear my soul and you respond with lifestyle tips? Isn't that a little mean? Spare the rod, spoil the asahi! But you're serious about this, aren't you? You're really going to fight? Even though Mizuki is with them? Your childhood friend? Ah, so that's what's got you all so worried. Well, you can rest easy. Next time I see him, I plan to kick his ass. <laughs> oh, to be young again. How about instead of celebrating your return, we toast to good fortune and success in your upcoming battle? Let's do this, everyone. We're going to put a stop to the Akihabara Freedom Fighters once and for all. I think their hideout's in UBX, isn't it? If I remember correctly now. Oh, we've got sub. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> we've got sub events. The most important thing in the world. There's three of them, actually. Maybe four. Four, yeah, four. Maybe five if we switch uh, Yoshino out, too. Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size. I'm not switching Penguin out yet because I've got a feeling maybe one of the events will disappear if I do that. There's about to be an event of some kind. I can Told you. you. I had a feeling in Pinkun's event was going to be a thing. Pinkun the maid. Oh, this is going to be great. Care to check out our mead cafe? Now open for business. 
And today only, your first drink's free! Seeing Pinkun getting humiliated is gonna be good for us all. Ooh, yes please! Hey, Pinkun! What the...? Oh, <laughs> you didn't see a thing. Everything's just fine over here. What, Pink Pup? Nothing to worry about. Come on, Pink Coon. You can't just pop out without warning like that. But I want to frolic with the maids. From the look on your face, that's not all you want to do with them. <laughs> you really do have a smackable face, you know that? Yeah, sure don't. does. You'll bruise my adorable little visage. You're bruising my soul. Just take me to the maid cafe, <laughs> dingus. You know you wanna. And why should I, exactly? Because if I don't go, I'll disappear. Feel free to go gentle into that good night. You're a meanie. Think about it, though. Would they even let you in a maid cafe? You're not exactly human, you know. <laughs> no problem at all. I'll just pretend to be a cute plushie and infiltrate the ranks that way. So hurry up and take me into the cafe. Chop, chop. All right already, I get it. We're only doing it this once, though, capiche? I knew I could count on you, dingus. Now hug me tight and let's get in there. Are you kidding? Do you know how shady I'll look, waltzing into a maid cafe with a plushie in my arms? I'd be happy to carry him, if that would be all right with you, Master Pinkun. Why, thank you. I'd love to hitch a ride between those mountains. <laughs> Shall we, m'lady? If he tries anything funny, Moe, feel free to smack him around. <laughs> how about we head towards Juan Quixote on Main Street? I believe we should be able to catch Nana at work. God, Pinkun is really a sleaze, isn't he? I think I hate him even more now. <laughs> Just because. No, 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 no. Moe, hi. What are you doing here at this time of day? Hello, Nana. Would you mind terribly if we stepped inside for a bit? Oh, of course not. I'll show you to a table. How many will there be today? Um, th uh, I mean two, please. Perfect. Right this way, then. Thanks, Nana. Not at all. It's my pleasure. Eee, I'm so excited. I feel like I could burst. Hey, keep it down. Keep what down? I'm just an ordinary, everyday plushie. Is something the matter? Hope the rest of your day at work goes well, Nana. Thanks for everything. Of course. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for coming. So, Pink Coon, how was it? Intense. Intense? Yeah. Whenever Moe would lean over, I felt such euphoria squeezing me from all directions. It was overwhelming. What? Damn it, you git. I'm talking about the maid experience, not that maid experience. Oh, well, they were really cute, and the service and atmosphere were perfect. I'm delighted to hear you had a good time. Uh, I want to live in a maid cafe. Those poor maids. I hope you live there alone. Yeah, time for the next stop, dingus. I noticed a spot in the station plaza that looked pretty nice. Let's go there. Oh, you must be referring to the Western-style casino restaurant Zranvania, no? Yeah, that. Come on. <laughs> Made over. <laughs> This game's definitely got a lot of focus on maids, more so. A delusion scape! We gonna go in? So the developers sat down and were like, we didn't get enough of Sara and Cardi from the first two games, so this time we're just gonna you know, multiplayer. How about we upgrade our PPs? You need to be 
No, I don't want to grab my PP in your presence, yeah. Pinkum. The wait was excruciating, but we're here. Come on, Dingus, take me inside now. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, you little. This place's menu has quite the reputation. My personal recommendation would be the homestyle roast beef. Sounds wonderful. Mmm, I'm simply bursting at the seams with excitement. Get roasted. <laughs> we look forward to serving you again. That was the bestest! The wood grain decor truly gave it a relaxed, homey feel, which the maids helped foster as well. It was lovely. And the beef was so tasty, I wanted to cry. I could eat there every day. I love how every maid had a different outfit, too. And all the cosplay girls, wee! It was paradise on Earth. Yes, it was very nice. But after all that, I'm bushed. Let's say we head back to Violet Eden and call it a day. You taking a save break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Monster Idol. Now on sale. 20XXXXXXX. Don't see that very often in games these days. I guess that's so that I put an exact date and make the game dated in that sense. That or just because Sunday loops and there's no particular date per se. What's wrong? I have something I want to ask more. Just refer to it as How Sunday. May I assist you? You have to look out this way. My, what an excellent idea. I'll head out immediately. The hell did the little puffball say to her now? Welcome, welcome. Made heads, made heads, roly poly made heads. I apologize on his behalf. He's kind of in his own little world right now. <laughs> Sounds like he had fun today. I thought of a really great idea, too. I should open up my own maid cafe. In what way is that idea great? Good. <laughs> You're too late to object. It's already a done deal. Sorry to keep you waiting. I got what you asked for. Uh, Moe? Why do you have a bunch of maid uniforms with you? I brought some extras that weren't being used. Will these serve your needs, Master Pinkun? They're perfect! Now the doors can finally open upon the Pink Paradise Maid Cafe! Please tell me this is just some horrible burrito dream. First things first, we need to get all our pals nice and dolled up. Do you really think Katomi is going to wear this for you? A man's romance lies not in succeeding at making goth girls dress up as maids for him, but in the earnest attempt. A man's romance is what now? You know something, I was thinking that. Oh, so you were listening. I swear, if this is a gag sub-event and they do that to Asahi... Katomi, here's a maid uniform. Quickly, garb thyself in it! Have you lost all sense? I can't wear this, you pervy pink puff. Yeah? If you like maids so much, though, I know just the place I can take you. It's someplace very, very special. Yeah? Come along now. It will be lots of fun. We are about to embark on a one-way journey into the depths of hell! <laughs> okay, for once, I'm actually on a Katami's side here. S somebody for once. Say Oh, no Asahi in a, in a maid uniform, unfortunately. I'm disappointed now. Even as a throwaway gag, that would kind of, kind of work, actually, because of the whole cross-dressing mission in uh, the first two games, where the game actually kind of... Actually, no, in Akiba 2 it's a side mission, isn't it? But in Akiba 1 it's actually uh, mandatory to uh, advance the plot, so. What 
definitely feel like they're really, really normy now. Oh, good, a safe spot. I can use a breather. I suppose it went from niche to kind of just being a thing now, more so. These days. I feel like something's about to happen. Come on, let's see what. Oh, Yamato. Yamato's events are quite fun, so... I did like his last one where he's being a big, uh, good big brother. The the height of uh, his events was the Yu-Gi-Oh um, event, for sure. You okay, man? Why are you crying? <laughs> Stay away! What did you do this time, Yamato? Hell if I know. Uh, wait! You guys aren't with the dude from earlier? Brotaku. Actually, that was one of the nicknames that uh, our sister referred to as Sanaki Batu, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. What dude from earlier? <laughs> Guess not. Sorry. I thought you guys were gonna take the shirt off my back. Oh, references. What happened to you? Uh, well, you see... A shakedown? He took my wallet and everything else I was carrying. All I wanted was to buy some figurines. So, an otaku hunter. It makes sense they'd be coming back in style, considering the growing rate of otaku down here. It gets worse, though. We otaku have a bad reputation. So when one of us gets robbed, nobody cares. They call the theft the public service. That's bull hockey. The people doing the beating and robbing are the real danger here. Why take it out on the poor otaku? Yamato? Hey, you! Where'd he run off to? Well, he jumped me in the back alleyway. But I'm not sure where exactly he went after that. Gotcha. Let's roll, Tachibana. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna find him. Okay, I wanna be there for that. Nah, so they're not strip... They're not, uh... Stripping personnel like in the first two games. Well, that was a nice little throwaway reference, I guess. Ooh, what incredible sexual tension! I never thought I'd see an IRL Kabadon. If I'm dreaming, don't pinch me. Hey, you! <sighs> Maybe you could stand to turn the greeting intensity knob down a few notches, Yamato. You must have seen what went down around here earlier, right? The shakedown? There was a shakedown? Yeah, in that alley. Oh? Well, I... I did see these two guys getting rather physical back there, but that was all. Damn. So you're not a witness then? No, this is definitely something. Threatening a guy, holding him against the wall, could be misconstrued. Huh. You think? The punk doing the cabin on wall slam thing. Did you see where he went? I did. It's hard to tear your eyes away from such bliss. Well, I didn't see his face, my eyes stayed on his back. Get to the point. Where did he go? Toward the side streets, I think. No, I'm sure of it. That's all I needed to know. Thanks. You don't think... Could he be part of some illicit back alley love triangle with the other two? Yeah, oh, as FFS. Long as he's not an earshot? Yes. Yes, I think that's exactly it. <laughs> so he's just encouraging her. Jesus Christ, man. Tut tut. Where are we going? Junk Street? Nope. Side streets. Yes. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Your wallet's looking awfully heavy. Let me take some of that weight off. Hey, the way I see it, I'm doing you and your flabby little arms a favor. Now hurry up and empty your pockets. Is it just me? Or is that a crime in progress? Hey, Yamato! Didn't you hear me? I said empty him. I've got nothing. No money or anything. Prove it. And if you're lying to me... Hey! What the hell are you doing? Uh, he's got his whole gang after me. I'm here to help you, damn it! Huh? <laughs> the hell do you want, you little punk ass? Hey, uh, now would be a good time for you to run. You got it! Yo, where you going? 
You just let him slip away. So you're the infamous otaku hunter. Oh, am I infamous now? I'm flattered, really. Warms my little heart. Are you my secret admirer or something? Shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Big words for such a little man. So what if I am hunting otaku? It's a victimless crime. They're the scum of the earth anyway. I'm just plucking wicked weeds out of the Garden of Justice. You turn on the news lately? You know that last incident? The really nasty one? Perp was an otaku. They busted open his door to find his room littered with anime DVDs. So what? Otaku are just criminals in training. So I'm here to drop the hammer on him. Stop the evil before it grows. Tell me then. Tell you what, loser? Tell me what you're crazy passionate about. What you love more than anything. Everybody's got something. Yamato? Maybe don't engage with the crazy man? <laughs> not me. <laughs> Especially not some loser crap like anime. Don't screw with me! Yamato, maybe chill? You're drawing a crowd here. So you're telling me to just give up? These are your words, Tachibana. You said the same thing to me once. Did I? What, are you and your otaku boyfriend having a little tiff? Yeah, screw this. None of you are worth my time. Say whatever you want about me. But you're not getting out of here without handing over the wallet you stole. Killjoy. <laughs> I don't care. Take it. You can smell the loser nerd on this wallet anyway. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's get this back to the first victim fast. He's probably still on Jump Street. Turned. Whoops. Accidentally hit the party screen. Hey, you! I think this is yours. This is my wallet. Old sudden death here got it back for you. You did? Hm. Um. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's cool. I'll let him know. He thanked you, Yamato. I didn't do this for his thanks. I did it because I wanted to. I did it for me. For you, huh? Tell me, Tachibana. Why do you think that guy had such hatred for Otaku? All of them just like stuff. That's not a crime, is it? So why then? I don't know, Yamato. I don't know. Nobody should have the right to say what's okay and what's not okay for someone else to like. Nobody. I'm just going to switch to uh, the Yoshino real quick. Station Plaza. Business in the Delusionscape? Please be well prepared. Feeling something important is about to happen to us. Oh, Katomi event. This will be great. Oh, this is totally hopeless. What's up with her? Oh, just leave her alone. This is it. This is how it all ends. I don't know. Something about her seems off. She might be a deluser. Um, excuse me, miss. Is something wrong? Oh, um, uh, well, sort of. I'm 
teetering on the edge of my printer's deadline, and I'm not even close to finishing this draft. Oh, are you in journalism? Uh, not quite. I I'm not a big name or anything, but I'm something of a manga writer. Manga? Close my deadline enough. is tonight, and all I can do <laughs> is laugh. It helps me hide from reality. But seriously, what am I going to do? Oh, the well springs run dry. I can't think of any good girls' love scenarios. Good girls' love? You know, Yuri, GL. If I can't come up with a good passionate scene, I feel like replica game's never going to end. I think this is the first time that Yuri's actually been mentioned in this. Uh, now that I think about it. There's lots of BL stuff in the first two games. Replica game? Ko, you okay? It really is you, isn't it? You're Lily Maiden, aren't you? Yeah, yeah cultured right. indeed. Yes, I am. You know my work? I do. It's one of my weekly pleasures. But the story's pace has been kind of... Mm, unbearable lately. Oh. You need to get out of this rut and move on with the narrative. I'm sick of waiting to find out who the replica is. Oh. And the Eighth Maiden, for that matter. She's always just shown in silhouette, and I've had enough of it. <sighs> Ko, can't you see you're breaking her already fragile dreams? I'm just trying to motivate her. It's do or die right now. If the next issue is good, the series could really take off. Whoa, Ko being supportive? Who knew? Oh, but this time's different. I am at my limit here. So you're just going to give up and run away? I have been looking forward to new issues of your manga every week, you know. I'm afraid I'm going to have to forbid you from quitting. You got that? Answer me. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You've really been keeping up with her manga every single week, Ko? It's good. And the character designs are really cute. Then don't you think maybe there's something more we can do to help her? Such as? Um, well... Oh, uh, perhaps you might be able to pick up some supplies for me. Oh, uh, if, if that's all right, anyway. I actually came to Akihabara for that exact purpose. But in the end, I think it was really just an escape. Sounds good. What do you say, Ko? Let's get her some supplies. Wow, you'd really go to all that trouble for me? Oh, yeah, no problem. You just keep focused on coming up with new material, and we'll handle the rest. Thank you so very much. Somehow or another, I am going to make this happen. I swear I will. I am going to go to the Max Celsius Cafe in front of the station and try to get some work done. You can find me there. Why do I have to be bothered getting art supplies? You look forward to a new issue of her manga every week, don't you? Well, yes, but... So then what's the problem? We give her a helping hand. Though, crap, we never asked her what supplies she needed. I know what she needs. We'll just go to Animart on Main Street. They have a nice selection there. Uh, Ko? <laughs> yeah, this event's kind of, uh, kind of oh, interesting, to say point. the least. Shall we take a break? A delusions. Wait here, please. I'm going to go buy what she needs. Have fun. Got it. Well, that was quick. What did you end up buying? Writing paper and screen tone sheets. Oh, you sure that was wise? There are a lot of different kinds of screen tone, you know. I definitely chose the right ones. Trust me, I know. Man, you really are a fan of her work. I bought her a G pen, too. Oh, one of those pens designed specifically for writing manga? Aren't there a bunch of different kinds of those, too? She's talked about it on Quipper before, and I recognize this particular brand from one of my favorite photos of her. You were able to recognize the pen from a photo? That's incredible. To me, all pens pretty much look the same. Even a tenth of a millimeter difference in the thickness of the tip gives each pen a totally different character. They're tools of the trade. You should know better than to underestimate them. Ugh, that's why you're a neat. I really don't think there's any correlation there at all, actually. Ugh, whatever. Believe what you want. We've gathered up everything we need, so we're done here. 
Okay, let's go deliver it to her then. If I recall, she said she'd be at Maxelsier Cafe in the station plaza. Shall we purchase trading cards? Remember, we all make our own luck. No, we don't. It's RNG. Stop it. <laughs> okay, this event is alright, actually. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Like, Tommy's actually having a pretty fun event. It's on the lower floor, isn't it? God damn it. They don't indicate if it's above or below. You know, like in some games where it's like an arrow up or an arrow down on the minimap. Here we are. Ah, oh, there she is. I bought you a bunch of things. It should be everything you need. Oh, these are perfect. I use a G pin in this kind of tone all the time. You knew just what to get me. Thank you both so much. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's low key telling us. Oh, he doesn't need any thanks. He's just in need, so he's got nothing better to do with his time anyway. Actually, makes quite a bit of sense why she uh, is quite harsh. Wow, that hurts, you know. So, did you think of a good way to progress the story? I sure did. The perfect continuation, in fact. Just now, thanks to you two. Oh, well, glad we could help, I guess. But all I did was buy you things. No, no, trust me. It's the two of you just being who you are that helped inspire me. Though, if it's all right with you, I'd love to chat you up a bit more for research to help liven up the narrative. For research? Research. Ah, I, I see, I see. Um, so Katomi here is a big fan of dolls, then. And Asahi's a college dropout turned neat. What could you possibly be getting out of listening to us talk about our lives? Yeah, what kind of story are you planning, exactly? Um, well, the true identity of the Eighth Maiden is going to be a razor-tongued gothic Lolita girl. And her master will be a strapping, yet aimless young neat boy. But in reality, their roles are reversed. The neat we thought was in charge is in fact the girl's slave. That's a bit odd. But yeah, I can kind of see it. I'll look forward to reading it. It's pretty good, right? I'm seriously so indebted to you two. Well, <laughs> Roll reversal. Work, I expect to find the next issue on the shelf at the regular time, and it will write itself. Don't you worry, I will make it. Oh, thanks again. Seriously? A razor-tongued gothic Lolita girl and a neat manservant? Something wrong with that? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. No, I think I understand, actually. You do? Yes, I get it. You're worried that with the time loop and all, the new issue will never actually get finished. You think that's what my problem is here? Rubber headband. Also, that's always a good incentive for the uh, sub events is the equipment. Always the equipment. Because better stats means better chances of surviving battles, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we don't have any other sub events. I'm going to switch maid support around real quick just to see if there's any others. Aha, I had a feeling Moe would have one. It might be Moe or Yoshino, one of the two. Let's get to it. Uh, save point. Shall we take a break? Clothing store in Akihabara? That's rare! Yeah, you're My heart sure. is beating out of my chest! Something is about to happen! 
This is going to be fun. Yoshino is always fun. Maid's night out. Oh boy. Good afternoon, Master Asahi. Yoshino. Hmm? What's got you so on edge? Um. Keep it between us, please. N -n -n nothing All good on the Asahi front. <laughs> well, that's a fake response if I ever heard one. What are you hiding? Now, now, mistress. Do you know something about this, Yoshino? Not at all, mistress. I would never keep secrets from you. Yes, I guess not. You are a pretty devoted maid. If I ordered you to tell me the truth, you would. Hey, uh, Ko? Don't you think maybe you might be overworking Yoshino a little? She's welcome to ask for time off, but I'd have to approve it. That's worker exploitation. It's a clear violation of our national labor laws. A neat like you has no business lecturing me on employment procedures. But fine, if that's how you want to play it, Yoshino, you may take the day off today. I mean, if you're constantly working, I can't very well relax myself, now can I? Oh, but mistress, that makes it sound as if I nag you. You do. Which is why I've decided I will be spending a little time unwinding on my own today. You needn't do this on my account, mistress. I am perfectly content working for your benefit each and every day. No, no. You're taking today off. I command it. As you wish. Good. Now, go enjoy yourself. I do not permit you to do otherwise. She totally did this for you. I wish she'd just own up to it. A day off in this job is a true rarity. So much so that I haven't a clue how I should spend it. Well, this is Akiba. There's plenty to see and do. If you'd like, I'd be glad to show you around. Truly, I appreciate the consideration. And further, I believe I will avail myself of your gracious offer. Alrighty then, follow me. And if you see any stores you want to check out, just say the word. This shop sells PP parts. Shall we upgrade? Delusions. Shall we enter? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. I probably will end up saving once we're back on the main plot again. Probably when we get to like the next big dungeon or whatever we've got to do. If we're backtracking through all dungeons, then forget it, because like I'll be one shotting Shall everything we stop anyway. Shall we up on items? Be certain you purchase. Pardon me, Master Asahi. If it's all right with you, perhaps I might take a look inside this store? This one? I mean, it's just a suit store, but sure, if you want. Thank you very kindly, Master Asahi. These suits are absolutely splendid. Glad you got what you were looking for, but aren't those for Ko? Indeed they are. Is there something wrong with that? The mistress will be graduating from high school next year. I think it would be prudent for her to own a suit or two. Well, sure, but this is your day off. Potentially your only day off. Don't you think you ought to focus on buying stuff you want? Oh my. For me, a maid's uniform alone is plenty. Besides, these suits for the young miss are exactly what I wanted. Uh, okay. She's That's dedicated. Fine, I guess. But let's continue the tour now, shall we? Clothes shop. Shall we take a look before moving on? Yeah, same to be fair. Well, if you want to see alternate outfits, you have to pay for them. And that's only for the main cast. You don't get any other alternate outfits for support characters, unfortunately. I feel like the way they handled the al alternate outfits in this game was so cynical, really. Because the point of the Akiba games is that you can equip anything and everything, providing you've stripped it off people. 
Whereas in this game, there's no stripping, so set outfits uh, DLC. So, and th it's not like you can unlock any. Uh, even like Bazaria had the alternate colors thing. Like you don't even get that in this with the base game. And I can't bring myself to buy the outfits for this game because they're just really not that worth it. They're just very generic looking outfits based around certain themes or whatever. There's no like Akiba 1 or 2 pack or anything like that, so... And I mean like outf the default outfits based on the characters in those games would have been kind of nice, I suppose. Oh yeah, it did. And there was DLC outfits done well too. But there was also the alternate colors color outfits um, if you didn't have the DLCs installed so more DLC outfits there's no palette swaps in this game which is a bit of a shame and you know what's funny Akiba Akiba Strip 2 had uh, an entire DLC for free uh, based around palette swaps well actually yeah you did see me play through the game with uh, alternate like hairstyle colors and stuff so it can be done. It's just that they chose not to for a keeper's beat. Sober and Different oil? vibe, I suppose. Mm. That might be a nice change of pace every now and again. Really? I wouldn't have expected that from you. Seems a little junky for your tastes. Soba and oil has fewer calories than ramen, you see. It may be a treat well suited to the young Mrs. Health. Oh, back to Ko again? You yes. know it's okay to forget about her for just this one day, right? Wait a minute. Does that mean Ko eats ramen? It seems she's taken an interest in all sorts of new things lately. I believe it may be your group's influence on her. Oh, uh, sorry about that. No, no, it's nothing to apologize for. Rather, broadening the mistress's horizons is a wonderful thing. You want to grab some real quick, then? I sure wouldn't mind a bite. One of her outfit per character, yeah. In well, that game. That should about do it for me. I believe it will be more than sufficient to reproduce the flavors at home. Did you really have to try every single variety for that, though? Master Asahi, I must thank you for your guidance today. It was most enjoyable. Wait, are you leaving already? There's still plenty of time left. I've been continuously receiving a large number of texts since the day's onset, and I really should address them. Texts? Texts from who? Oh my, I should think that would be obvious. It seems the young miss may be suffering withdrawal symptoms. Have a look. Where are my socks? I want some green tea. Hilarious. Manju, still waiting on that green tea. How old is she, eight? Oh my, you see my dilemma. I must return to her before she becomes truly angry. But thank you again for today. Not at all. As long as you got to have a little fun, it was time well spent. Oh, yes. But Yoshino the enabler. What's up? I'm sure you'll understand that the matter of showing you text messages from the young miss is... Well... Let me guess. Keep it between us, please. Right, you got it. Drop cuffs. Increase the item rate by 5%. It's still not a very high percentage. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. I forgot about that. Just changing my way now. Just to make sure there's no event with my way. I highly doubt it. No. Looks like we're back on main story plot point now. Which is the Yakuba Freedom Fighters hideout in UBX, so... I think we just might have a boss fight. I don't know if they've got a full dungeon planned out in there. Maybe. Uh, a save point. Shall we take a break? It definitely didn't look like a full dungeon we were there last time. And yeah, I'm gonna save because we've 
done a bunch of sub events. It'd be silly of me to go in there, get wiped, and then have to load my save, and it's like undone all my progress. So. Into the delusion scape, then. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Akihabara Freedom Fighters hideout. A delusion scape? Why didn't you tell us about this? Looks like it's already been nullified. It has, but it makes for a convenient hiding spot, doesn't it? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's hit them where they live. Is this really okay, though? I'm not blindsiding these guys, that's fine. But dragging you along with me? Huh. Men don't go back on their word. Uh, the rest of the party is women, you know. But I certainly don't plan on turning back either. Yeah, this is the whole reason I joined up with you guys in the first place. You guys are too good to me. All right, let's clean this place out. Hey, where is everybody? Hiding from me, if they have any sense. <laughs> Seems like it goes back even farther. Really? Looks like it. Last time I was here, they said they were using that space for storage, so I couldn't check it out. And you think that's where the Freedom Fighters might be cowering right now? Then we better get moving. Is everything okay, Pinku? I've got a bad feeling about this place. Oh? I don't know what it is, though. Hey, what's the holdup back there? Oh, sorry. We're right behind you. Come on, Pinkoon. Let's join the others. Yeah. Is he maybe getting vibes of Saki? Maybe? So, yeah, it's going to be a full dungeon. Perhaps we should make use of it. wonder how elaborate this one's going to be. What sort of kind of enemies they got here? Probably just reskins. I believe there and stuff. may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. A customer has been a full house today. They seem to be quite no popular. Problem. Not so fast. Turn. Hop in. One customer served by Master Asai. Run flip. You like this? Still so many yeah. customers yeah. to be yeah. so we will set them all. The final customer. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. A customer has been spotted. Look at all the customers! We must attend to their I'll needs you fast! Yeah. You can release an Imagine Field anytime yeah. now! You're like not so blade yeah. blast! Go to hell! Hot One roll. customer served to by Master Sai! You're like not so yeah. 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 customers get to be served, but we will save yeah. them all! Yeah. Yeah. There are yeah. yeah. still yeah. customers waiting to be served, but we can handle them! There are still customers waiting to be served, but we can handle them! Master Yamato, you stuck the enemy's weak point! Continue in turn! Only one yeah. bow remains. Okay. Oh, oh, no time is <laughs> that was an interesting noise. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? I'm sorry, but for a party this <laughs> big, reservations nope. are mandatory. Like, hot, 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 hot. You're out. Ah. You like this? Embers edge! You like hot to die! Where are we going? There are still customers waiting for this. We can't handle them! Two customers remain. Just a final dish is served. That hurt, you know. Final customers are not going to be It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? Pet 
repair increase by 15. That'll be useful. Oh, that won't be as useful. Never mind. It'll be power increase, but the an I prefer the anklet because defense and an agility increase is quite nice. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. This looks to be one. A full house today. You seem to be quite I'll popular. Pull you away. Not so late, blast. Now we can do it that was educational. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. Oh boy, we're playing with switches by the looks of it here. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. You like this? Look at all the customers. We must attend to their no needs problem. fast. You like not so hot? Please, 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 not so fast. Sneak oh, uh, You like not so hot? Your fight's over. Is that it? Customers remain. Let's not fall to the final dish of sand. Only one flow remains. Closing time is not so distant. It's over. It's a customer. Please do ensure. Three customers? We should attempt to greet them at the door next time. You like this? Hot. You like this? You hook this up. Hot. 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 You like this? Hot. 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 Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the way the uh, barriers are designed. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? It's like a train station sort a of place. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? A full house today. They seem to be quite no popular. Problem. I'd like to lend you a hand, please. There are still customers waiting for you. We can handle them. Thanks. There are still customers waiting for you. We can handle them. Check this out. Two customers remain. Let's not falter till the final dish is signed. The final customer. Let's show them our dedication to service. It's a door. What wonders await us on the other side? Yeah, yeah, it does. Just fits in with that. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? This looks to be one time. Welcome back, masters. <laughs> oh, wow. There are a lot of hot, yeah, hot, hot. It's oh, over. Are you, are you all right? Please, You're looking at the problem. There are still customers waiting to be served, but we can handle them. Black Lotus, please. That was just the one. No, no, no. Two customers are like this. Still so many customers yet to be served, but we will serve them all. It's over. Mission is complete. Still so many customers yet to be served, but we will serve them all. Two customers yet. Let's show them a warm welcome. Run them through. The final customer. Let's show them all. Rest in pieces. Hot. I believe there may 
may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? I believe there may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. has been spotted. Shall we engage? We've been through this door already. Over way then. So I got a bit disoriented. Gotta find two switches. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. This looks to be one. Three uninvited customers. <laughs> they caught a bit loose. Oh, you like hot? 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 Has been spotted. You like this? Three customers? Right this way, please. Come and get me. Hot, 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 yeah. It's over. It's Run them through. Hot. Not so hot, 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 hot. Gotcha. gotcha. Let's end this. We are going to do this for Asagi. Gotcha. Hot, 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 hot. Rest in peace. So the final dish is served. You like this? Hot, hot, hot. Check this out. Run them through. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. Customer has been spotted. Shall Hot. we engage? Hot. Look at all the customers. We must attend to I'll their needs. I'll pull you best. away. You like pot? Yes. You're out. Is that it? Still so many customers yet to be served, but we will serve them all. Hot. 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 Let's show them our dedication to yeah, save you. It's, it's over. Eat this. Run up. Up. We cross you. As it should be. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. Hot. A customer has... Three customers? Right this way, please. No problem. You like this? Hot, hot, hot. You're out. Check this out. out. You don't. Hot, hot, hot. Please allow me to be your guide. I can help you. Check, Check this. Done yet. Hot. You like One customer is served by Master Asagi. Two customers yet. Let's show them what more of a Mission accomplished. Let's show them our dedication to service. Need to burst. This seems pretty cool. Helio hand. Have to see what that does in a minute. I've kind of just stuck to the same skills, really. I mean, if it works, it works, you know. I believe there may be treasure nearby. Three customers. We should attempt to greet them Come at the door next me. time. Not so fast. Hot ta. Run them through. Not so fast. Is that the customer, Mr. Oh, thank you. You're just going to die. Not too fast. Let's show them a warm welcome. Let the winds blow. Let's show them dedication to service. I'm seriously what's this do? A customer has been spotted. Three customers, but we get to make the greeting. So let's say hi. You like turn? I'll cheer for you from here. Hot, 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 h
Please do ensure you're all presentable. It's a customer. Please. I'm sorry, but for a party this yeah. big, reservations get, are mandatory. Like, not so fast. Please, Blossom. Hunt daydreamers. Oh god, yeah, I could imagine. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. I mean, to be fair, the weapons are supposed to be based on, like, objects. Like, Asahi's weapon is supposed to be a music player with a blade attached, I guess. I don't see it personally, because I can't exactly get a good zoom in on it. Out of curiosity, what's it like if we make people the leader? Like, do they carry their weapons with them? Has just a magical girl wand thing. What's Yamato's weapon supposed to be based on? I know it's an axe, but... No clue. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be either. Twenty seventeen, yeah. Hey, I have a music player still. I've got like a Sony MP3 player. No idea what Katomi's weapon's supposed to be. Outside of it being a save, but Is it like a box that folds up or something? I don't know. <laughs> Some of these weapons feel a little bit hit and miss. I like re I mean Ryu Mimose's weapons just like magical girl wand. Which could probably double as a microphone, which makes sense. I see he's supposed to be like a music player, yeah. Ancient iPod Nano. I can't remember if I just saved. Whatever, I'm going to save again anyway. Right, let's, uh, let's roll into town and face these two. You! Huh? What's up, you guys? What are you doing here? Akari. Oh, yeah. What's the story, Morning Glory? Step aside. I don't want to have to fight you. What kind of hippie nonsense is that? I want to fight them. Oh, Fuss said we had intruders. So does that mean they're you? Damn. He told us to look for the intruders and dispose of them the moment we found them. That's what he said. Which is a real bummer. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I know you've come all this way and all, but you'll just have to head back home. I'm sorry too. Or we could fight them. That's what I was hoping for in the first place. Your move, Tachibana. Give us the order. Do we actually get sorry, to make a decision? I don't want to hurt you, but we've got to get through you one way or another. No, there's no decision. Your wonderful freedom fighter Kari is here to no punish problem. you. I hope you'll go easy on me. You like hot? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Be good little girls and go to sleep. It doesn't Breath work for him. Forever. Don't be mean, Ko. Come on, let's go see what they were guarding. Sorry, Akari. Aoi. Time to go further into the hideout. More switch shenanigans, cool. You know something? I might go back on ourselves and save after that. Just because. I believe there may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. <laughs> I like how they just basically face down. It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. Saved after the boss fight. Or rather, Shall we return then? It is mini boss, I should say. Limit. Customer, please do ensure you're all presentable. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. You like this? this looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? Look at all the customers. We must attend to I'll their pull needs. You down. Hot. Turn. Please, that was fine before this <laughs> turn. <laughs> well done. Two customers. Hot. Yes. Let's do the more work. Sure, you're all presentable. I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. A customer has been spotted. Welcome back, masters. <gasps> oh, wow, no there are a lot of masters. Not so hot, hot, you're out. Is that it? 
Another switch over there we've not touched. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? Again, some good level ups here too, so we'll be pretty much prepared for the boss fight in here, I suppose. Maybe overly prepared, but I don't mind. That'll be the switch we need. Which will open the last one. Actually no, it'll open up another switch. Or another place to get to another switch.
So we can go around now and get to the next door. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry, but for a party this big, reservations are mandatory. Fuck it, I'm escaping this. I can't be bothered with this fight here. Healing. I'll need your help. Keep your distance. direction. Right, there's obviously going to be a boss fight right here, so we'll save too. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? Chances are it's probably boss himself. Perhaps we should make use of it. So, you made it. We sure have. Boss, I've got something I want to discuss with you. Let me guess. 
You're gonna tell me not to destroy the delusions? Decent intuition on this one. What, you think I haven't heard what y'all been saying this whole time? No, but I'm here to tell you that we're putting a stop to the Freedom Fighters. You are gonna stop us? <laughs> Still make me laugh. There ain't a soul out there who could. Then you met your match. Because I don't have a soul. It doesn't have to come to this. Not if you stop destroying the delusion so carelessly and aggressively. <laughs> you think words are gonna help you now? Straight up rifle. Gonna try talking us down? What you think this is the final boss? That's cute. There's more uh more chapters to go. This game's long. There's like fourteen chapters. I think we're on chapter seven or eight, I think. So there's more to come. Like the Akiba Freedom Fighters isn't gonna be the final boss. No, which is why I'm here. This game's long. To eliminate you and leave no trace behind. Now that just ain't ladylike. Who barges into someone's secret base and then tries to threaten them like that? Better people than the ones who barge into someone's world and destroy it, you pompous pompadour. Few freedom fighters are always so self-righteous, but I've got to ask: Are delusions really that bad? Whole lot of stupid coming out of you for someone who just said they weren't going to try to talk me down. Nothing left to do now but clash till there's only one of us still standing. Let's see whose ideals are up to the task. If it's a clash you want, it's a clash you'll get. Fine by me. I, the leader of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters, do hereby stand my ground. Show me what you got. This I swear is... in the name of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters that I will down. defeat you, Chippo. <laughs> Do your thing. You like that for my true form. Ah, this is the real way to check this, this out. Let's win from heaven to earth. Hold it. 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 It's over! Run them through! Please, run them through! 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 Run don't you worry, man. I make sure you get real good carry. Let's end this. Master Yamato, you need to be healed. Can anyone help? It's over. Let him die. Can anyone heal him? Ignition. Bullet time. You're out. Release your shield. Go to hell. He hits quite hard. Don't you worry, man. I'll make sure we take real good care of you. Run him through! 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 Front flip! Mistress Potomi, be You die for this! You don't! Do your thing! Run Don't you worry, man! I'll make sure you take real good care of you! Hot, you like to be so good. 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 Hot, you like to be so good.
Spooky hoops indeed. Oh, we didn't get a level up from that. <laughs> Maybe in the next Not fight. Half bad. We still got our secret weapon. My go-to guy. Think he can win against the likes of him. You sleep too, and don't ever wake up. No mercy, huh? Will he be all right, do you think? <laughs> Who cares? Just leave him. He doesn't deserve our sympathy. She's like a demon. Mizuki's gotta be back there. We don't have to stand and ponder. Now's our chance to bring the freedom fighters to their knees. You're right. Let's roll. I'll tend to boss's wounds. Yeah. Pinku? I just can't shake this uneasy feeling. Big plot twist is going to be happening here, isn't it? Do you reckon that Saki... I mean, she has, like, been gone for so long. Ah, oh, another entire section with switches. Oh, and enemies that are going to probably customer. back attack. Please me. do ensure you're all presentable. More switch shenanigans because we didn't have enough of these last time. I believe there may be treasure nearby. Jump. Please search. So many customers. Can we truly serve no them problem. all? Jump. You like this? Hup. It's over. Please blossom. Hot. Huh. Go to hell. Hot. 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 Customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? So many customers. Can we truly serve Come them all? Me. Everyone, follow me to safety and be careful not to drop anything. Yeah. I'd like to let you in if you'll let me. Gotcha. Treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. It's a door. Shall we enter it? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. I 
Okay, here we go. That's Mizuki. Mizuki, Asahi. I'm here to stop the Freedom Fighters. To stop you. Yeah, I kind of figured. You really didn't need to exposit it like that. One way or another, I'm going to get you to understand me after all I've been through. To understand us. No, you won't. Why not? Because I already see exactly what you're doing. I know what you're up to. You want us to lay bare our hearts and smack into one another until we're all fought out, is that it? Yeah, basically word for word. I'm probably the weakest person you know. First to fall, first to run, been that way since we were little. I've never even been in a real fight, and even now I'm full of uncertainty. I'm uncertain whether delusions should be protected or destroyed, and above all else, there's only one thing that's perfectly clear to me. The fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea what's right. No idea what I should do. When delusions are nullified, people are saved. But sometimes people get hurt, too. So I sure don't want you going around nullifying delusions left and right, because I've been responsible for hurting someone else. And I don't want to put that on you, too. Or anybody. Maybe the fact that I've come all the way here and still can't make up my mind one way or the other makes me uncool. But this is who I... It doesn't. It doesn't make you uncool at all. In fact, being willing to question what you're doing is actually kind of... noble. Which is kind of irritating. How can you explain your feelings so openly? Mizuki? Somebody got hurt by someone else's delusion. Somebody who never even noticed the delusion existed. He probably didn't know why he was hurt, or even how. Didn't know if he should tell anyone either. He was so conflicted that he could never bring himself to speak. So he just stood there, suffering. Never able to express his feelings to another living soul. That's why we have to be there to take notice. We look out for people like him when nobody else can. But you wouldn't understand that, would you? Is that why you joined the Freedom Fighters? Don't talk to me like you've got me all figured out now. You were right about what you said earlier. You don't understand a thing. Then explain it to me so I do. I can't. What can you do when you can't convey your feelings or show your weaknesses? No matter how much I try to understand, or try to make you understand, in the end, all we can do is pretend we get each other. No, that's not how it has to be. Let's just put an end to this farce. Here he comes. Put down your weapons. And why would we do that? Because this is between me and him. Fine. Have it your way. Are you ready? I've been ready for a long time now. Then let's do this, Asahi. Then come on and smash into me, Mizuki. I'll stop you even if I have to knock you clean into next week! Then a while, step? ready to let's cross step. weapons with an old Completely. friend? I am. I'm not gonna lose to the likes of you, Asahi. Is there anything that can bust my uh, stats up temporarily? Don't think I do, do I? Heavy bullet! Hot! You like nuts? You like you're out! <laughs> Round <laughs> edge! What's the matter? Chipful Not so confident in your decision out. anymore, are you? Not so fast. Hot, hot draw! You like hot? hot? Out of my hot. way! You like just? Hot. It's over! Hot! I'm gonna make out the end. Hot! 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 Out of my way! Hot! Hot! You like hot? Round edge! You like hot? You like hot? Hot! Come on! What's the matter? Not so confident in your decision anymore, are you? Embers out! Out of my way! He seems to have guard against everything, by the way. Walking in the air, then did you notice that? Sweeping bullet! You like nuts so I run them through! Come at me any time! Here we go! Hot job! Hot! You're Get out! Get ready! Embers Do your thing! Embers You like hot? You like 
Triple this. Do your thing. Ember Zay. Saw my opening. Got it. Uh, Heavy bullet. Come in. Uh, run him through. Aerial bullet. Looking a little tired there, man. Dead. Better down. You seem to be having trouble Draw breathing this yourself. Up. Floating bullet. Give me a break. Fire. You're putting way too Touch much effort into this. You really are pretty skilled, you know that? Leaping bullet. You have no hope of winning this. You do realize that, right? Out of my well way. past the point of regret here. Yeah. Not so fast. Come on. Run him through. 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 Run Run him through. 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 Come on! Yeah, you think you're going to stop me this? You got everything coming. Follow my lead, guys. Get ready. I'm alive. Out of my way. Hot. You like hot? Sweeping bullet. Draw. Hot. 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 Floating bullet. Not too bad. That was easy. Come on, Mister. You really want to fight me? He has a gun, infinite ammo, and he's still lost. I mean, I was item scrubbing to be honest, but. Meters filled to burst. Whatever, you know. When in doubt, scrub it out. Well, Mizuki, looks like I win. It's not over yet, Asahi. There hasn't been any winner or loser. You got that right. The fight ain't over till I say it's over. Akihabara Freedom Fighters, assemble! Assemble. Yeah, no kiss already. Some people don't know when to stay down. Asahi, you need to let us join the fight. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a badass rumble on our hands. Can we win this, though? They beat us all up pretty good. I'm not exactly confident. That bad vibe I got? It's getting badder and vibier. It's almost here. Saki, maybe. It's almost here. They've got four, we've got four. And we're in way better shape, too. I like our odds. <laughs> yeah, it sure looks like you got us on the ropes now, don't it? However, you made one major miscalculation along the line there. Oh, and what would that be? There ain't just four of us no more. Let me introduce you to our newest member. There's no way. I think it's obvious. Traitor. <laughs> we freedom fighters are proud to present the one and only Saki Hoshino. You called it. You do, yeah, you called it. Been a while. That's the hell kind of sick joke is this? Stop messing around. It's not funny. No, I don't believe it. How could you? Well, Saki, talk to us. We've been waiting for you to come back. Will he you did, to be fair. Something? <laughs> Guess there weren't no need for introductions. So we doing this. Let's rumble. I hereby contract your delusion. Oh, Cannon. I shall lead you into a world of delusion. Far more wonderful than any dream. Cannon? What the hell? Yeah, I was wondering when he was actually going to show up. It's that dude from before. We only saw him briefly in the last part, if I remember correctly. Your delusion has been contracted. None of these dreams are my desires, yet they are my raison d'etre. Why was I born, I wonder? 
And is it good that I was? Perhaps there's no point in asking. Although I would appreciate if you'd allow me the self-affirmation. And if you'd not regret that decision. I want your tomorrow to be lovely. If that could be my new raison d'etre, I would want for naught. And so, from the corners of this town, I shall continue to wish that it were. Imagine Gage is now leveled up. And yeah, we're going to save, because we're pretty much at a cliffhanger here. Although I'm going to see where the next chapter leads. So yeah, Saki's now a traitor. Hey, you awake? Welcome back to the world. Where am I? Don't worry, you're at my place. Akemi tells me you come here an awful lot. I'm surprised we haven't run into each other more often. You're that... guy from before. Oh yes, Ray Ray told me about that. I was a bit surprised to hear that he'd made your acquaintance without me. Ray Ray? I'll thank you to forget that name. I'm Reiji Shinomiya, and I saved your life. Akemi's filled me in a bit on what's been going on. The delusion contractor, the freedom fighters, and all that. Ray Ray is the one who brought you here. Why'd he go and... Wait, what about the others? Mippity, Yamato, Ko, or Saki and Mizuki? You've got eyes. Use them. The man with the unfashionable pompadour and the tiny twins are missing as well. Why? Why am I the only one? Well, that's... Because I'm only one man, and I had my hands full carrying you. So where are they? Where did they go? Are they okay? I have no idea. Damn it! Wait, Asahi, where do you plan to go? To find them. If you're thinking of searching the Freedom Fighters' hideout, don't bother. There's nobody there anymore. What? Do you have any idea how long you were out? You were unconscious for more than an entire day. I... was? So what if I was? I have to go and check for myself. You'd only be wasting your time. Really, Akemi? I've tried calling them. No luck. Plus, Ray Ray already went back to search the area while you were sleeping. He's been doing everything he can to save them. In his own unique way. <laughs> You've got that wrong. I'm not as good a person as you think I am. But... what happened to them? God damn it! I just wish I knew whether or not they were okay. Well, you can go and see for yourself if you're that desperate. Ray Ray, please. Better he confirms the situation with his own two eyes. And maybe then he'll have an easier time accepting reality. But Asahi's only just begun to get his strength back. He's in no condition to be traipsing about out there. I appreciate you taking care of me, Akemi. But I want to go. I need to search for the others. This is all your fault, Ray Ray. Oh, you could be such an enabler, you know that? Though I can hardly say I'm surprised. You've always had a bit of a soft spot for the downtrodden. <laughs> I keep telling you I'm not that good a person. I just know where he's coming from. I wouldn't be able to rest till I saw it with my own eyes either. Where did you guys all go? I've tried calling them. No luck. Could that mean they're inside a delusion scape somewhere? Yeah, we've got quite a few locations to be looking. I have a feeling they're going to be in each delusion scape, essentially. One each. I'm probably going to get the party back gradually per one. Maybe. That's my guess. Got some business here, kid? Well, that kind of depends on your definition of business. Black suits and sunglasses? Seriously? Where are your neuralizers? You saying something about my look? 
No, nope, nothing at all. You must have just been hearing things. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I guess we've got to go to each one either way, though. Someone's standing in front of the door. Hmm. You got a staring problem, punk? No, sorry, I was just entranced by the impressive figure you cut in that suit. There's another no-go. What's this guy up to? Hmm? Are you the boy? The boy? I eh, guess not. Carry on then. They know about me? Are they freedom fighters? No, I've definitely never seen these guys before. And they have a totally different air about them. What the heck is going on? they just standing there? Who'd put guards at all of the delusion scapes? Hold it. State your business. Oh, uh, just... just checking on something. Don't tell me you can see the door. Huh? Hmm? What door? I don't see any door. Exactly. You have no business here, so please leave. Now. They're guarding the entrance? But why? And who are they? door, I think. Huh? You, boy. Looks like something's caught your eye. Tell me what you see. Uh, um... Are you clued into the delusions? Delusions? Ah, uh, I can't say I am, dude. I know other people delude themselves, but not me. I'm a reality man, through and through. Noted. How do they know about the delusions? And why are they standing guard at the delusion scape entrances? Whose delusion is this?
They're guarding every single delusion skate? I don't get it. What are those men in black up to, anyway? Who sent them? Hey, you satisfied yet? Have you been... If you are, we should head back. Pronto. Yeah, he's, he was no, I'm watching. not satisfied. I have to find my friends. Hmm? What's all the commotion? Keep it down. I haven't been found out yet, and I don't want that to change now. Hey, what are you two doing here? Hold on. Aren't you the kid who's been staring us down? Who, me? You wouldn't happen to know the meaning behind these doors, would you? Doors? What's a door? <sighs> Let me explain. This spot just holds some nostalgic significance for my kid here. I'm sorry about that. And who are you supposed to be? His legal guardian. My, um... Son here has just gone through a really bad breakup with his girlfriend. It uh, hit him pretty hard. He made a lot of good memories here and wanted to come back and see the place. Try not to be too hard on the poor boy. Huh? I didn't break it. I know. Smooth. It's tough, isn't it? You don't even want to admit that it's over. Look, I'm just trying to find my friend. Play along. Huh? But I... Yeah, I get it. Young love is tricky business, that's for sure. Now, if you'll please excuse us, we'll be going. Hmm? Hey, you in the glasses. Hang on a minute. You mean me? Yeah, you. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Huh. Yeah, he yeah, is. You definitely look familiar. Just have one of those faces, I suppose. People always tell me I look like a friend of their siblings or someone they work with. Always somebody cranky. No, no, I don't think that's it. You're much more familiar than that. I'm sorry, but we really do need to be going now. If I don't do something to cheer my boy up soon, he's gonna lose it. Hey, let go! Stop pulling! Come on, it's time to go. Wait, stop! We're not done talking. We'll keep up the good work doing whatever it is you do. See you around. Welcome back. How'd it go? It didn't. I still need to find my friends. Shut up. Sit down. Let go of me. I need to find my... Please, calm down, Asahi. For what it's worth, I share your desire to find them. Then why are you... You saw what was going on out there. All the delusion scape entrances are guarded by men in suits. Yeah, who the hell are those guys? I'm back. Glad to see you, Kanata. Oh, Asahi. You look much better. Yeah, thanks. Kanata stayed by your side virtually the entire time you were out, attending to your every need. Oh, uh, no. Pogus. Just... Did she? Thanks, Kanata. That was really nice of you. It was nothing. So, Kanata, what have you discovered? Oh, yes. I did a little digging. And it seems like those men in the black suits are also on the hunt for cannon. As I thought. So the Delusory Administration Bureau is on the move again. I guess our time to sit idly by is just about up. Delusory what now? Just let the adults take over from here, kid. What does that even mean, Delusory Administration Bureau? And how are the men in black related? It's none of your business. Actually, Ray Ray, I'd say quite the opposite. Asahi's very deeply involved in this. He has a right to know. Maybe so. But do you really want to see a kid like him risk his neck any more than he already has? Well, someone's certainly stubborn today. Or could that be kindness? Call it what you'd like. Either way, there are some things in life a person is better off not knowing. Tell me, please. It's related to Canon and my friends, right? I have to know. You want to know, you gotta return the favor. And you're already in debt. Who do you think carried you here? Not my fault you dragged me away from everyone I care about. This is why I hate kids these days. Now, now. Ray Ray, Asahi, both of you, cool it. Asahi, was it? You agree to help me in my own search for somebody. And I'll tell you exactly one thing. You're searching for somebody too? Still trying to find Mari, are you? Hey. Any of you know a woman named Mari Tojo? 
Oh, yeah. You know Akiba really well, don't you? Me, I can't keep up with it these days. It's changing way too fast. So, you know Akiba the way it used to be? If three years ago or so counts as the way it used to be, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it is pretty different now. I'll take that as a compliment to the Akiba I remember. But isn't this a little one-sided? I mean, I'm looking for a whole party's worth of people. Which is exactly why I'm asking you. Huh? I hate to break it to you, but nobody named Mari Tojo has joined that party so far. They're on the move. If we keep looking for your friends, we're going to cross paths with Mari sooner or later. Ray Ray is offering to join you in your hunt, Asahi. You might want to take him up on that. Um, are you? <laughs> Make no mistake. I'll be joining you, but ultimately I seek only my own charge. How about taking a maid along for good luck while you're at it? Okanata! Yes, right away. Do you really think we'll need her? She's been saying for a while now that she wants to be of some help to you in your quest. Be nice. But last time I helped you, you I wasn't type. able to keep Ko here until she was fully recovered. I want to make amends. I mean, that wasn't your fault. Ko just darted out of here. Th that may be true, but still, still. Definitely best way. We're having an extra guy to help in our search, but this isn't playtime for little kids, you understand? I'm quite certain they know that. I, I, I just want to be of help to someone. Kanata. Yes? I look forward to touring Akiba with you. The voice reminds me of a male from Nier for some reason. I wonder if it's the same uh, uh, voice, maybe. Thank you. And I you, Asahi. <laughs> now, see, this is nice. But Asahi, I must insist you keep your hands to yourself. Huh? Huh? I, I will, for sure. What? Don't mean to interrupt the fun, but I think it's time we head out. <laughs> head out? To where? With a delusion contractor's appearance and the sudden movement it. of the DAB, there's only one place they could be. So you think they're inside one of the delusion scapes too, then? There's a high probability of that, yes. But aren't all the entrances guarded by those men in suits? Those DAB guys, did you call them? It, if I may? The men guarding the idol delusion scape seemed a little disorganized when I checked. That's our weak link, then. We force our way in from there. Oh, he's got a spear. Okay, cool. Counter. Uh, when a party's party, yeah, party member's HP is low, she can use a support skill to increase attack power, magic power, resistance. Of the... Okay, that's cool. PP path extravaganza, new stuff, which is going to be stupidly expensive. <laughs> So we're going to get to the idle delusion scape. And unfortunately there's no side events going down right now. So it's back to main plot really at that point. I want to hear some of Canada's lines actually before I go off I guess. And we'll pick this up in the next stream. It's a clothing uh, store. Shall we try on a few outfits? It's a personal computer shop. Shall we upgrade our PPs? <laughs> Like her already. What else do we have? It's a delusion scape entrance. Are we gonna go inside? Are you going to buy any trading cards? I wanna know what you get. I wanna hear the alternate lines as well. Probably not gonna hear them or be lucky enough to the you know what the uh RNG is like sometimes with the lions. We'll head over to the uh Um I'd like to buy some items if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll head over to there, but we'll save in the other spot there. And then we can pick the rest of this up tomorrow. We've had quite a few uh like big plot points happen like Tommy being massively into Yuri for example 
Also, Saki betrayed us. <laughs> really? I wonder if they did Emil's voice. Sounds like Emil, but I could be wrong. Have a quick look. Karen Strassman, that's the voice actress. Lots of anime, holy cow! Lots and lots of anime. Lots of games, too. Um, Rumble Roses, funnily enough. Saboteur, I remember that game vaguely. Oh, she just Katana's voice in Mortal Kombat. Okay. Helena's voice from DOA as well. Oh no way! She's actually uh, no near. No, it's she sounds a bit like Emil from near though. Maybe it's the tone of her voice. Um, she was in Warriors Orochi too, doing additional voices. By the way. <laughs> Because a lot of actors were in that that game particularly. Out of curiosity, she was in the first Warriors of Rochi as well. Which is kind of funny. Considering I played both of them. I wonder who she voiced in those games. Probably just some generic NPCs or something. She did Ghoul's voices in Fallout New Vegas as well. I'm assuming the female ghoul voice. Oh, it's Anna! I just realized! It's Anna's voice actress from Fire Emblem Awakening. The redhead that sells you all the maps and stuff. And you can recruit her at one point, too. Okay. Now I've just got Anna in my head. I've seen a lot of um, Rule 34 art of Anna from Fire Emblem. She's a big fan favorite, to oh, be honest. Save point. Perhaps we can take a breather here. In fact, that's what we do plan to do. We are going to save. We've done quite a bit today, which I'm happy with. Out of curiosity, what is his equipment like? I've upgraded his stats slightly. Man, he's got some old stuff. Old, old stuff. I've got a ton of yen, though, to spend on uh, PP parts. I really should do more uh, trading cards at some point too. So if your HP or SP gets low, chance to set off, uh, pop in the boost, a attack, and that's all oh, deafen, MDF, increase. So there's a chance that your stats will just basically spike up at low health. So it's kind of like a bizarre button of sorts. Sort of. Which I don't mind, I guess. 
Right, we're going to save and we're going to leave it off here because we've had quite a lot of changes and plot point cha uh, plot revelations. And it just makes more sense for me to just start up from here next time around since the uh, location's right next door to it. Ratio, that's pretty much going to be it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll uh, be catching you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.